What's going on everyone? Welcome back to The Sweet Studio. My name is Joshua Grove and here today we are gonna be learning the small cup to spike in Ken Grip. So getting started, make sure that you're in a proper Ken Grip. If you're not familiar with Ken Grip, once again, go check out that grip tutorial that we have on our playlist. So similar to doing the small cup, this time instead of just catching the cup, we're gonna do that prep step to get the hole facing us. So starting on the opposite side of my body, popping the tama up so that the hole is now facing me. Same process now occurs like we learned in Big Cup to Spike. We're gonna create that small arch motion, focusing all of our attention on that hole, and then getting that spike right in line with where our focus is. What we really wanna focus on, again, is just using our knees, getting a nice and controlled pull up, focusing on that tama hole, using our knees to start down, making that small arch motion, and then following through once again with our knees. If the tama hole is not where you want it to be, doesn't mean that you cannot spike it, you just have to align your wrist so that the eyelet is facing you, so that you know where the hole is on the other side of the ball, and we're gonna do that same thing uh, with that C motion, but we need to get the ball to rotate just a little more, so you just gotta put a little more energy into that rotation. And once again, always using our knees to follow that hole all the way back down. Be sure that you're not stabbing at the ball, that you're not just going for it, that you allow the ball to come down and you spot that hole and the tama naturally goes on to spike. This is one of the first tricks that you'll be learning on your kendama journey and it's a great tool to learn consistency and start building your repertoire for longer and more challenging tricks. So I hope this tutorial helped you out. Go check out the rest of the tutorials and start checking them off your list. We'll see you next time in the Sweet Studio.